Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911, back again with another unboxing video. So, full disclosure, um, I have two of these and I had them in their shipping box and I unboxed it and everything. And then I realized I didn't press the record button. <laughs> so, I had already cut this open uh, when I just peered over to the camera and noticed that uh, the button was blue and not red, red meaning recording. So, I'm doing this part over again. But, of course, if I didn't tell you guys, you probably wouldn't have known, but you know what. Who cares, right? Um, so, yeah, just got this delivered by Mattel. And uh, in my previous video, I had the whole spiel. I didn't know which one it was, whether it was the Masters of the Universe He-Man Skeletor Anniversary uh, edition or if it was the Hot Wheels Ghost Rider uh, motorcycle uh, but to my surprise when I opened it it was this one the San Diego Com they're all San Diego Comic-Con exclusives uh, this is the Hot Wheels Star Wars The Mandalorian Razor Crest uh, the Beskar edition which is really cool and a couple of people who a couple lucky few uh, uh, you know, social uh, media influencers and such got their hands on these early at the show uh, but for us regular folk we have to wait uh, a few months later and we pre-ordered these on the Mattel website Uh, mini piece of Beskar. I have my big pieces of Beskar over there. And uh, there's a Razor Crest. And see, it comes with a Kamatomo uh, container there. And then there's like a package there, and which is the stand. All right, so let's open this up. Boom. That is the Kamatomo. I think it's an ice cream, like an old vintage ice cream maker. They modeled it after. Uh, and that's the prop in the movie, so there we go right there. I expected this to be plastic, not paper, but this is actually pretty cool. I have a friend that makes all those uh, 4D puzzles, and he makes everything out of paper too, and it's pretty amazing what can be done nowadays with technology and paper and cardboard and a little bit of gloss and a little bit of nice artwork. But uh, yeah, that's it right there, nothing turns. Um, there's a little tab here. It opens. Oh, it's magnetic. That's nice. That is very nice. Wow. And that's it right there. And there is the Razor Crest in all its glory. Little piece of Beskar there. Uh, so let's see. How do we get this out? Pull to remove. Squeeze, pull up. Oh, there we go. And the Razor Crest comes out like that. Whoa. This is a pretty heavy piece of metal here. Um, these feel like plastic. The rest of it's cold, so I can tell that that's metal. But uh, yeah, wow, you can kind of see like the Beskar look on it. It's actually just cast into it, which is pretty cool. Well, I wonder if anything opens. Doesn't look like anything opens here. And it looks like there's like a little ball joint there where uh, the stand goes in. So it looks like when it goes in, you can probably pose it around, which is really cool. 
Yeah, let's see. I got one of my pieces of best car here. You can compare. You know, not quite real Damascus steel, but it, it gets the it's kind of the same effect. Uh, I wish there was some more darker lines in it. So, but this is actual stainless steel, Damascus stainless steel. Um, every piece is different. I'll get you two pieces here. You can see that in uh, my other unboxing videos. And there's like a link to where you can buy those but this video is not about this even though these are so freaking cool uh, it is about this piece here all right so now that we've kind of gotten a look of this really nice detail even though there's so much busy patterns going on kind of distracts you from it but it's so cool that this is a piece of metal and that's our look all right so and then we have this little little piece of Beskar here and that looks like it's just printed so basically everybody who gets one of these it's going to look exactly the same oh things are down there what was on mine they're up there interesting this i would find that this is probably more correct uh because this is a licensed product but you know what licensed products have gotten things wrong before like sometimes some details slip through the cracks all right, that's really cool. And then this, I guess, is the stand. That probably says Razor Crest and Mandalore. And there's the sigil for the Mudhorn. Really cool. Let's try to open this up without breaking the box. Nice success. Yeah, really, really cool. So even the stand looks like Beskar. This is completely 100% plastic, so this is just uh, painted on or hydro dipped. Yeah, it has the mud horn. It says razor because that's a little cheesy. I probably wouldn't have done that. Um, I would just left it like these. This is cool. The Star Wars and the Hot Wheels is uh, kind of embossed onto there, which is really really cool. Or stamped on there. If they stamped the mud horn sign and that on it, would have been so much better and darkened it. But this just kind of looks a little cheese. Um, oh, even the stand part here has some Beskar look front and back. Uh, so it looks like it goes in this way. Nice positive click click in there. A little bit of a looseness to it, but I'm sure it's fine. And then uh, goes into that hole there. So just put my thumb there because you don't want to just do it like that. You could probably break something here. A nice positive insert right there. And that's how it stands. It's really cool. And then you can pose it. Not too much poseability. So if I hold it straight here, you can go down like that. Almost 45 degrees like that. Turn it around. I'll do it like that. But I'll probably just have it taking off like this. Maybe on a slight angle. I don't know. It's cool because you can just display them on the King of Tango here. Which is really, really cool. And like that. Huh. Yeah, I mean, for $30 US, uh, and, and it sucks it was limited to per person, I would have bought like 10 of these and I would have gave some to my friends. It would have been ma made a really good gift to any Mandalorian fan. Uh, but for $30, I think that this is quite good value for what you get here because this is all die cast metal besides the turrets here are plastic uh the stand is plastic but you do get a metal piece of beskar which is really cool uh, you could probably like drill a hole in there and then use it as a keychain but uh, the people that make these they also make those as well so you don't have to ruin your collectible to do that um but yeah, thirty dollars US plus shipping. Great. Uh, they're sold out, and I've been checking on eBay how much they're selling for now, and they sell anywhere from eighty to one hundred and thirty US. So um, almost triple in some cases, and more than triple in other cases. So um, yeah, I'm so glad I was able to get two. I'm gonna give one to my brother and keep one for myself and put it into my Star Wars display. Uh, maybe I'll put it right beside the Mandalorian helmet, and it'll look pretty cool. I'll probably do a snapshot of that for you guys later. Um, yeah, but uh, that's it for my quick little unboxing video. This is the Mattel Creations, or just Mattel 
and Hot Wheels uh, Starship Select, Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Razor Crest, the Beskar edition. Uh, hope you liked the video. Let me know and comment below uh, if you have one of these on order, what you guys think of it, what if you think it, if it's a good value for $30 or something like this, and this day and age of collectibles with prices like skyrocketing. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.